I'm going to talk about creativity and critical thinking and I think the first thing there to say is that they are um, part of a continuum. So you've got sort of creativity at one end which is really about having ideas and divergent thinking and you've got critical thinking at the other end which is really about critiquing and getting better at working out which of these ideas were good ideas and less good ideas and everything in between includes things like being persistent, working with others and the discipline of going deep in a, in a particular subject. So that's a very big thing to say anything profound about but the thing that I would like to suggest is that the research evidence is that if you really embed these in schools attainment improves and at the moment there's a, a myth out there that if you invest in creativity and critical thinking somehow this will be a distraction from getting better scientists and better mathematicians and better writers and readers and this is not true there's some work we've been doing in Australia in the state of Victoria which is beginning to show uh, that there is good meta-analytical evidence that standards go up when this is done well. We need governments to make really strong, clear statements about its values. We need uh, head teachers uh, really to feel that within all the things that they're being asked to do, creativity is actually valued and that whatever external accountability systems or examination systems they work within, there's a place for it. We need exam systems to change so that this kind of test that children take now can grow and become something that isn't just solo but might be collaborative, uh, tests complex uh, questions rather than simple answers. We need uh, teachers to feel agency and confidence and to improve their professional capability and probably to work with others who are uh, well down the road so that they feel that they're working it out for themselves and we need young people to be alongside us as co-designers. This is a, a moment of creativity emergency, but you can't see it. So there are, across the world, young men and young women and children who are sitting in classes who are present but not present, who are receiving an educational experience that is worthy but not worthy of the aspirations that we have for them. It's not fitting, it's not appropriate for the uncertainty, the complexity and the excitement that these young people will need if they're going to thrive. So creativity is part of the answer to that. Whether it is as Andreas Schleicher has described it, a literacy or not, I'm not quite sure, but it is a robust body of knowledge that I think we now need to be more confident about asserting as a pillar of the entitlement of all young people at school. And so English and maths and science, of course, and all those other humanities and other art subjects and other science subjects, but there's something about creativity that I think whose time has come. And by the way, I think the next thing is something also that OECD Surrey is very interested in, and that's emotional intelligence and social and emotional learning. I think those two are the extra pillars, and we've done some really good work on the creativity, creativity area, and we now need to supplement that with some really uh, rigorous work in the social and emotional learning area.